In this video, I want to explain what is meant by overfitting in statistics. So in general, the idea of overfitting is when you fit a model that is overly complex to a sample of data, and hence, because of the over complexity of the model, the predictions which it makes on a new sample of data are pretty poor. So here I have an example to kind of explain this concept. And so what we're going to imagine we have is a sample of six individuals where we've collected data on their occupation and their income. So this is our sample of data. And the idea is we'd like to build a model that helps us to predict an individual's income based on their occupation. So what might be the simplest type of model we could fit here? Well, what we could do is we could just take the average income of all these six individuals in our sample, and if we do so, we find that that's $32,500 per year. And so the really simple model would say, well, an individual's income is equal to the average, so $32,500. So I'm just going to omit the kind of trailing zeros here under the understanding that we're actually dealing in thousands of dollars. So the simplest model might just predict, so I'm just going to put a hat on income here to say that we're predicting income, is $32,500 per year, the average. So we completely disregard what their occupation is. But we think that we can probably do slightly better because when we look at our sample, we see some systematic differences in income based on occupation. So first of all, we see we have three doctors in our sample and those doctors earn 40, 50, and $60,000 per year. And those, all of those data points that we have are substantially above the average. And so we might say that a doctor has a salary, which is basically the average of these, which would be $50,000. So we might make a model which is slightly more complex, which would say we predict an individual's level of income is equal to $32,500, the average, plus the difference between the average doctor's salary, which is $50,000, and the overall average, which is $32,500, which in this case is $17,500. So we have $17,500 times a dummy variable, which indicates whether or not an individual is a doctor. So for clarity, we have here a dummy variable doctor, which is equal to zero if their individual is not a doctor and one if they are a doctor. So we see that this kind of second model here allows us to inflate an individual's salary if they are a doctor. And that seems like a reasonable assumption to make based on our data. We've got three data points here. Can we make our model even better? Well, we also see that we've got two cleaners in our sample here. So we've got one cleaner who earns 15,000 and another one that earns 10,000. So on average, based on our sample, a cleaner earns $12,500 per year. So similarly, we could include this information in a predictive model if we just said an individual's predictive income is equal to what we had before, $32,500 plus $17,500 times the dummy variable doctor. And then what we need to do is we need to add on the difference between the cleaner salary and the overall average. And because that's actually going to be a negative quantity, instead what we're going to do is we're going to take away a difference based on whether or not an individual is a cleaner. And here we see that the difference between 32,500 and 12,500 is actually $20,000. So we're going to take away 20,000 times a dummy variable cleaner which has the same sort of form as a doctor, except obviously we're replacing whether or not they're with a doctor or whether or not that individual is a doctor rather with whether or not that individual is a cleaner. So you notice that this model is slightly more complicated. We've included one more term here, which is to do with whether or not an individual is a cleaner versus our previous model. And that in turn is more complicated than the simplest possible model, which just says all individuals have the same income. But we think that this second model is probably a pretty reasonable model based on our data. We've got two cleaners, we've got three doctors. So we're fairly confident in the inferences that we're making or the predictions that we're making. However, we also notice that we have one lawyer in our sample who earns $20,000. 
And so what we might do is we might include in our model here an extra term which accounts for whether or not an individual is a lawyer. And because this lawyer who we have in our sample earns $20,000, what we might do is we might include a corrective term which is basically just taking off $12,500 times a dummy variable lawyer which will exactly allow us to replicate this individual's income using our model. But what do we think about this last model that we've created here, which has got this sort of extra term in here? So I'm gonna sort of put it in a box so we can differentiate it with the one before that. Well, intuitively, it doesn't seem quite right. We know that lawyers tend to earn quite a lot of money. So it's possible that this individual that we have in our sample is a complete outlier. Essentially, we might have picked a human rights lawyer who earns nothing near as much as a corporate lawyer, for example. But how could we have told that based on just our sample of data without using outside knowledge? Well, the idea here is that we only have one sample for lawyers here. And so we should be cautious about building a model which contains a term to do with lawyers here. We really have absolutely no confidence whatsoever in what our estimates or our predictions will be if we use that model. In statistical language, essentially what we've done is we've built a model that overfits the data. So including this last term is meaning that our model will actually do worse on out of sample prediction. Essentially, we fit the noise in our sample rather than fitting the signal. The signal in our sample is probably okay for whether an individual is a doctor and whether or not they're a cleaner, but for a lawyer, because we only have one data point, we really aren't confident at all and hence shouldn't include that in our model.